Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve a word problem on whole numbers. The problem is a t-shirt costs $19 and a skirt costs three times as much. If Annie is left with $24 after paying for the t-shirt and the skirt, how much money had she at first? So let's draw a model for this. Let's say this block here represents the cost of the t-shirt. Okay, so this is the cost of the t-shirt and that is equal to $19. So if a t-shirt costs $19, how much will the skirt cost? Well, since the skirt is three times as costly as the t-shirt, the model for the, for the skirt will be three blocks. Okay, so one, two, and three blocks of the same size as the t-shirt. So let's say that this represents the cost of the t-shirt, then this will be the cost of the skirt. So let me write that down here, skirt. So if the t-shirt is $19, what, how, how much is the skirt? So let's say that if one unit is equal to $19, then three units will be equal to three times nineteen dollars, right? So that's three times nineteen dollars, and that is equal to fifty-seven. So the skirt costs fifty-seven dollars, right? So if the t-shirt costs nineteen dollars and the skirt costs fifty-seven dollars, how much did Annie spend? So how much did Annie spend? Annie spent nineteen dollars for the t-shirt plus fifty-seven dollars for the skirt. So that's equal to dollar nineteen plus dollar fifty seven is equal to dollar seventy six. So she spent altogether seventy six dollars. But the problem given to us is the question asked of us is how much money had she at first because she's left with twenty four dollars now. So she spent seventy six dollars and she's left with twenty four dollars. What does that mean? How much money had she at first? So let's suppose that this is the model of the amount of money she had at first. So what she did was, she spent $76 on the t-shirt and the skirt all together. Okay, so this is $76 and this is how much money she has left, $24. So let's say, that, let's suppose that the T-shirt and the skirt cost $76, which is marked with the pink block here. And the amount of money that she has left now is $24. So then how much did she have at first? Well, obviously she had $76 plus $24 at first. This is the amount of money she had first. So the amount of money she had for at first is $76 plus $24. And that is equal to $100. So, we can write that Annie had $100 at first, okay? So that's the answer to your problem, to the question that's, that's asked of you. How much money had she at first? She had $100 at first, okay? So that's that about this word problem. For more word problems and for practice exercises, visit www.homecampus.com dot com dot sg this is m signing off for now bye bye